Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about a brand new capability that lets us change the address spaces assigned to a virtual network even when it has peering connections. Now it's coming in preview, but you can go and turn this on and try this for yourself. As always, if this is useful, a like, subscribe, comment and share really is appreciated and hit that bell icon. So I can think about, I have a virtual network. Now a virtual network fundamentally comprises of one or more IP spaces. We write this in kind of a, a SIDAR format. So I could think about, well, this virtual network could be 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Now remember, that virtual network lives within a certain subscription. And that subscription trusts a certain Azure AD instance, so Azure AD1, and it trusts that for its kind of authentication, the identities that it can give roles to. That's going to be important in a second. Now, I might have other virtual networks. These virtual networks could be in the same subscription. Uh, they could be in a different subscription. So I might have another subscription over here. And that subscription has another VNet. We'll just call this VNet2. Now, remember, when we peer VNets, they can't have an overlapping IP space. So maybe this is 10.1.0.0 slash 16. So this is in a different subscription, but they trust the same Azure AD tenant. And that's kind of an important point for this feature. And then what we can do is we can add peers. Now these could be in the same region, or they could be in different regions. We can do global VNet peering. But one of the challenges we had in the past is once I do this peering, I could no longer change the address space of a virtual network. If I try, it will actually fail. So let's see that. So if I jump over to the portal, now on this subscription, I have not turned on this new capability. So if I was to just go and look, for example, at my virtual networks, and I just pick a virtual network, I can go to the address spaces. So I'm kind of looking here and go to my address spaces and I select that. If I try and add an additional address space here and click Save, well, it fails. It fails because, hey, you have peerings. So it will not let me do that. So this new capability, what it actually lets us do is now change this. So in this subscription, I've gone ahead and turned on the new feature. Now to do the new feature enablement, you go to your subscription, and then what you can do is you can scroll down to preview features. Within preview features, you're just gonna search for peer. Now again, this is in preview. Once this goes GA, you won't have to turn this flag on anymore. In fact, the flag will disappear. And you can see I have registered. Now to do that, all I did was kind of check the box and hit register. Now I did find in my subscription initially, when I turned this on, it didn't work. So I unregistered it, I clicked the button again and did unregister, and then straight away turned it on register, and then it works. So once I've turned this on, what I can now do is actually change the address spaces. So in this subscription, I'm gonna jump over to my virtual networks again, and I can see VNet2 has appearing to VNet1. Now, if I go to the address spaces, I'm going to add another address space. So I'm going to add 10.3.0.0 slash 16 and hit save. Now, this time, it's going to let me do this. So I've now added an address space. Now, the issue right now is, though, the peerings are kind of out of sync. If I go and look at the peerings, it's telling me, look, a remote sync is required. Now, if I was a contributor on that other VNet, I could actually go and do the sync from here. I could actually hit sync, and it would do everything I need to do. Alternatively, I could actually go to the other VNet, and it's gonna tell me, hey, look, a local sync is required. Because what's happened is, essentially, they know the address space has changed, but it hasn't actually taken effect yet. So there's two new attributes, and I can actually go and look at those new attributes. If I go to resources.azure.com, this lets me kind of look at the arm behind the scenes. 
And this is actually that peering relationship. And what we can see is, hey, there's this remote address space. This is the address space it is configured with currently for the remote virtual network. And it just knows the two. And then there's an additional remote virtual network address space. Oh, here it knows about that third one as well. Then there's another new attribute, peering sync level. And it's telling me, hey, look, my local is not in sync. So it knows about this. So at this point, what I can do is now actually on that peering, I can just say, select it and say, sync. And it's going to go and perform that synchronization process and actually get them back in sync, update the address spaces, and I'm back to a fully connected state network peer. And once again, if we looked at the metadata now and refresh, what we would now see is, hey, yep, yeah, that remote address prefix matches. It's added that additional one, and we are all good. So kind of that's the key point of this functionality is now, hey, I can actually go and modify the address spaces and I no longer have to delete the peers to actually go and add the address spaces and add the peer back. I can absolutely just go and add, hey, I'll add a 10.2.16 with a new feature. I then perform the synchronization of the peer. I can do it on either side, depending on if I have the permissions on this network to do a remote or I just go to this VNAP and perform the local synchronization. And then I'm back off and running again. Now today the requirement is the subscriptions must trust the same Azure AD tenant. If I'm peered to a VNet that is in a different Azure AD tenant, I can't do this yet. It is on the roadmap to add that functionality. Likewise, there's planned functionality for changes to the experience so that I can kind of do a bulk synchronization. But that's it. Go and turn that flag on. Now I can modify address spaces, perform the sync, and I'm back up and running. I hope that was useful. Until next time, take care.